Uh, good morning. A little cool out there this morning. We're going to be in the low 60s as we head into the 9 o'clock hour by lunchtime into the upper 70s and certainly getting a break from the heat today. Plenty of sunshine with temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s this afternoon. So again, cool out there this morning. We had a weak cold front move through and bring in some slightly cooler conditions. And you can see up in the northern mountains starting off this morning in the middle and upper 40s, upper 50s in the metro right now and down in the southeast starting off in the low to mid 70s. Some of that cooler air hasn't quite made it to the southeast. You'll get a break from some of the triple digit eat heat in the southeast, but uh, your real break is going to come tomorrow when highs are only going to be in the low 90s. Skies right now clearing out behind this disturbance that brought a few showers and storms up across the northern and northeastern part of the state overnight last night. We're going to see that continue to clear out with a lot of sunshine and winds. Not as bad as yesterday, but still gusty at times, so high fire danger for much of the state. And we have wind advisories for the East Mountains and out across the East Plains where winds will gust of between 45 and 50 miles per Hour. Fire restrictions in the Sandias top the morning news list. Much of the Sandia Mountains will close to the public starting at 8 this morning because of the extreme fire danger. A handful of trails, some picnic grounds, the observation area, and tram will remain open. Tonight, Albuquerque City Councilors will decide if the future of the red light camera program should be decided by voters. Also on the agenda, a measure which would regulate private parking lot owners who boot improperly parked vehicles. A manhunt is underway for the gunman who killed four people at a pharmacy on New York's Long Island during an apparent robbery. An investigation by the Associated Press finds that to keep the nation's aging nuclear power plants operating within safety standards, federal regulators have weakened requirements or failed to enforce them. And golf has a new young sensation. Northern Ireland's Rory McIlroy finished a whopping 16 under par, running away with the 111th U.S. Open title. The 22-year-old McIlroy is the youngest U.S. Open winner since 1923. And that's your Monday Morning News Blitz.